I like 45. Did I tell you that I like 45? I do. I like this gun, Smith & Wesson E-Series. Smith & Wesson, come out with an R-Series for Rombo. I would like that a lot. Howdy, I'm Ronbo, and welcome back to Area 51 in Arizona. I've got a sweet treat for you today. A Smith & Wesson revolver, no, not a revolver, a 1911 45 ACP. Did you know that Smith & Wesson makes semi-automatic pistols? Well, of course you did. But I always think of revolvers, and I've got some sweet Smith & Wesson revolvers, but today, we're going to test the first one I've ever shot of a 1911 stainless steel walnut grips E-series. What's the E stand for? I don't know. I wish they'd have called it an R-series for Ronbo. That would have been great. But E-series it is. You can check it out on their website. Nice, uh, smooth, and textured grips. Uh, stainless steel all the way around. Uh, gun weighs uh, about two and a half pounds. Serrations, look at that. They look like something off a lizard in the rear and the front. Nice touch. Uh, sights are fixed. Let's take a look at those sights. This is a carry gun. Two dots in the rear, one in the front. Not meant for slow target shooting or adjustable sights, but if you're going to carry it, if you're law enforcement, self-defense, or even military, this is a good gun to have. Uh, note the uh, Extended beaver tail grip protects your uh, web of your hand. I'm going to flip it over. Safety is extended. Nice touch. Of course, slide stop and, uh, oops, my hand's out of the way, Ron. Uh, magazine release, side stopper standard. Smith & Wesson. We'll take an angled look at that muzzle. That's a 45. I like 45. 45 is my favorite caliber. Uh, the uh, magazine well is uh, uh, beveled. You have serrations on the front grip. Nice. Serrations on the rear spring housing. Nice, another nice touch I like. Trigger is a target trigger, stainless steel. Breaks at about five pounds, five and a half pounds, but that's not a problem. The take up is very light and easy to get used to. Brakes nice and uh, crisp, which is what we like. Did I tell you it's clear? Oh my gosh, Ron, it is clear. Okay, let's take a look at some ammo here. In case you didn't know, here's a comparison. On this side is the nine millimeter. Center is a 40, excuse me, start over again. Nine millimeter, 10 millimeter, and 45 ACP. See the difference? Big and round. This is very fast, 11 to 1500 feet per second, and the same with the 9 millimeter. Their bullets are lighter, 180, 115. The 45 shoots a 230 grain bullet hollow point at about 830 feet per second, standard. That will do some damage. So which one do you think is going to open up those milk jugs the most? We're going to find out. Smith & Wesson's been around a long time, probably 150 years, making revolvers. But they've been making these uh, for 20 years, and I think they got it down. First time I fired a Smith uh, before we started filming, and it is a sweet shooter. So let's take a stainless steel magazine. That's what the gun comes with, by the way. Uh, eight shot. And load her up. See what we got to shoot at. Wow. Lots of targets. And let's see, we got a jam right off the bat. Okay, didn't like that. Okay, loaded, safety's on, fingers out of the trigger. Let's take a shot or two at that uh, steel target on the left and see what these hollow points can do. Yeah, not bad. How about a flapper? We got a flapper on the left side. Yeah, 230 grain hollow point, jacketed. That moves that flapper, it's heavy. Let's see if we can move it back. Well, we hit it, a little off center. There we go, just a good hit. How about a headshot? Oh, a little to the left, oops. I guess my marksmanship is off. 
Let's try again on that headshot. There we go, high headshot. How about on the milk bottle? Oh yeah, listen to that ring. That's a heavy target. Center. Center. That left shot was me. Uh, Got to practice a little more, Rombo. Got a few BBs left. Oh, look at the milk jug in the center. It's leaking. Let's finish it off. It's wounded. Oh, yeah, put it out of its misery. Uh, we got a two-liter root beer jug there. We need to water the desert. Yeah! Blew it up. How about the one in the center? Oh, yeah, center. It just turned that into root beer mist. Oh, that's good for the little animals that like root beer. Blew that one up. Uh-oh, out of BBs again. Don't worry, Rombo's got lots of BBs. Got a milk jug way out there. Let's see if we can touch it. Oh, we hit it kind of high. It's leaking. That's better. Let the water out of that. Okay, a real test of a handgun and shooting pop cans. We got three here. There's one. Whoops. Oh, yeah, we made up for that miss. How about the next one? Yeah, let the root beer or the soda out of that. There's one way out there. Come on, Ronbo. Oh my gosh, we need more BBs. That's a tough pop can. Oh, come on. There we go. That pop can had body armor on. Jeez, can you imagine that? All right, let's finish it up here. Forty-five power. I like forty-five. Did I tell you that I like forty-five? I do. I like this gun, Smith and Wesson E series. Smith and Wesson come out with an R series for Rombo. I would like that a lot. You might find a used gun like this. Did I say used? Certified used. You might find one available at Guns.com. I can't believe this is used. It still needs a bit of break in, and I need to practice with it for my marksmanship. But you might find one. Check out Guns.com. I'm Ron Bow, this is Arizona. Thank you for coming out and watching me today. Go shooting, it's fun! Yahoo!